and welcome back to best of ipsy 2015 and i know i kind of look the same but a little bit different i thought i recorded this video but apparently i didn't hit record so i went upstairs made lunch ate and then straightened my hair because i wanted straight for later tonight and then when i went to import all the footage i was missing part two in my english version so Yes, it's kind of the same, but it's different. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my favorite makeup products of 2015 that I got from Ipsy. So, if you're interested in knowing what products those are, then just keep watching. So now, without further ado, let me go ahead and get started with the first product, which is an eyeshadow. I got two in this um, bag. I got, of course, I have two bags. So I got one eyeshadow in each bag and they were different colors. This is the Nude Dude Eyeshadow in the color Flirty. I thought that this was pretty cool because if you've been following my channel, you know that I have a review and a look with the new Dude palette and I think it's one of the best eyeshadow consistency that I've tried from the Balm. I think this is one of the best so far anyways. So I thought that they sending this, it was kind of cool. So other people that may not have that palette could kind of see how the texture of the eyeshadow, the pigmentation and the formulation are. Then and the next product I have here is, let me go with this one, Queen of the Field. This is by, and this is basically an eyebrow gel. It, it is tinted, so I'm going to try to do it a little bit over there so you can see. It's very gray, which you think that it's pretty weird, but once you blend it into at least my shade of eyebrows, it looks very, very natural. It's very pigmented, as you can see right there. But I think it goes perfectly if you don't want to fill in your eyebrows. This gives you more of a fuller, natural look. And then at the same time, if I already have something on my eyebrows, it kind of sets them in place and gives them that life of a more natural brow and not something that kind of sticking to the skin. Now the next one are just eyeshadows and this ones are cream eyeshadows by the brand Trustique. I've never heard of this brand before I got them through Ipsy and I'm really happy that they sent it because they are pretty different formula of other eyeshadow crayons that I have in my collection. I have two different colors because I received one in each bag for that particular month. The first one is the color Venetian Gold and I don't know if you can see but it's just like a shadow stick <laughs> and honestly I've been using it quite a lot that's how much I have left I was kind of obsessed with this eyeshadows in the summertime I created the basic look that I wear almost every single day and the other color is like a greenish grayish greenish color and this is the color Aspen Pine it's very very pretty and that combination of those two eyeshadows this is the green and that's the gold color it was really pretty now the one thing I like about this eyeshadow crayon is that they don't really move throughout the day so if I apply any kind of eyeshadow primer underneath they're gonna stay put all day long now they're very easy to blend you just need one brush like the one that I share with you in my previous uh, video from Ipsy and honestly they're just like two minute kind of step and then you're done and they stay on pretty much all day at least on me now once again these are just trial sizes they're not full size so of course I'm gonna run through them pretty quickly but it's one of those products that I'm really interested in trying in a full size. Now the next product is this by Tarte and this is the Park Avenue Princess bronzer and I mean this is one of those bronzers that has been talked to death here in YouTube that's a color right there. It's kind of a golden undertone and I think it's perfect for maybe this time of the year where I'm not as tan so I can contour with this and maybe bronze up my uh, skin without being too dramatic. This is a very pretty color. I've never tried this bronzer from Tarte before and I'm kind of scared to buy bronzers for myself because I know they take a really long time to be used up. So 
Honestly, I was really happy when I got this. The next product is a mascara. This is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I mentioned this mascara a few times already and I have a review on it or first impression. I'm not sure what it was, but if you want to check it out, I'll link it up here. This is a, this is a really good mascara because it gives you length and volume at the same time. You can do just one coat and it will look very natural and I don't know, like fluttery and very very natural kind of lashes and enhance them at the same time but if you want something very dramatic you can totally do it just do two or three layers of this mascara and you're gonna see more of a dramatic effect and I love that because sometimes we have to go to different mascaras to get that look or the natural look and then something more clumpy or maybe more liquidy for whatever we want for more volume and having that in just one mascara for me it was really worth it the next product is by Elizabeth Mott and this is thank me later eyeshadow primer this is very similar to the Too Faced shadow insurance I don't even know if you will be able to see but it has pretty much the same consistency which I love this makes my eyeshadows glide perfectly it makes them last all day long and as I mentioned I think this is a dupe or something really close to the Too Faced shadow insurance that I really love Elizabeth Mott products honestly they always impress me like the eyebrow gel that I mentioned before and some tools and stuff that I got from this brand so I was really happy to try this and, and I think it's a great eye primer now the next product uh, I just have to say that I'm really picky with lip products I am sometimes I, I am way too picky and that's why I hoard lip products because I think I like them then I use them for a couple of days and then decide that I don't like them enough to keep them or I don't like them and I think I'm gonna do something to mix it with other products and then I end up not even using them at all which is something that happens to me very often now I realize that some of these formulas are matte and of course not everybody likes the matte formula but these are by far the best lip products I've tried, not only from Ipsy, but best matte lip products that I've tried recently. The first one is the Pacifica Power of Love uh, Natural Lipstick. This is in the color Tender Heart and it's what I have on my lips right now. It's pretty different here than what it does look on my lips, but of course it's gonna look different depending on your skin tone. I love this. I know they smell kind of funky and um, that they're not as smooth as they say they are like the regular formula when you buy it at Target I don't know if Ipsy store them in a place where they shouldn't or what happened but I love the colors enough and I love the formulation because it lasts a really long time so I really want to get more colors I got another one because in the two bags I got one in each but I don't know I can't find it and I'm so sad because that was my favorite color it has kind of a rusty undertone and I love how that lipstick look so I'm gonna try to find it if not I'm gonna go ahead and just purchase it this one was lost too and I barely found it today I love this formula I'm gonna go ahead and get more colors then I have a couple more um, products from Tristique. They're the same color. I keep one in my purse and the other one here in my makeup collection. And this is what it looks like. It's by Tristique as well. And this is in the color Florence Fig. And this is so, so pretty. That's a color right there. It's a matte formula, but it's very creamy. It reminds me a little bit to the matte lipsticks by Maybelline but the only thing that this is not as creamy as the Maybelline ones so this one lasts a lot longer on my lips they don't last as long as the Pacifica one but the formula it's a lot more creamier than the Pacifica one that I had or the one that I got from Ipsy anyways and I love this formula as well it's a very soft matte and at the same time very moisturizing the next product it comes in this little book and it's by Urban Decay this is the Urban Decay Revolution high color lip gloss and they were promoting this lip glosses but they included this lip primer in the color ozone this is supposed to be like a lip liner lip primer you can use it both ways this is really good it's kind of sticky and it makes your lipstick stick to it so it doesn't matter how 
creamy they are or if they're a satin finish they stay a lot longer whenever you use this underneath so of course this was my lip primer of the year and I need to repurchase it then the next product is another lip product this is by teeny or tiny beauty this is a very beautiful color it's like a reddish I don't know berry orange kind of color it's a mix and that whenever you see it in the swatch and you see act the actual color in the tube it looks totally different i love this formula it smells really really nice and it's not matte it does have some kind of sheen but it's actually very comfortable and it doesn't move around my lips like other creamy lipsticks do so i really enjoy this i got a few things from this brand but this lipstick by far was one of my favorites and the next one it's a single eye shadow and it's also by the same brand brand tiny or teeny beauty and it's this single eye shadow in the color pearl fizz and i'm just gonna go really look at that i mean that's just barely touching it and that's the color right there you can use this as a highlighter you can use this as an eyeshadow and it's very very pretty it has like a golden undertone champagne golden undertone it's really easy to blend but at the same time it always keep the pigmentation it's not like it fades away as soon as you start to blend it and I really really love this I think this is a single eyeshadow that the, this color is a single eyeshadow but it comes in a palette I think it's the Rob Skippy, Skippy for Tiny Beauty or Teeny Beauty not sure but that product is pretty amazing the next one is the City Colors HD powder this is what it looks like I didn't open this because I have another one that it's open at the moment this is the best setting powder if you want to find something that it's you know translucent that it doesn't have any color and you want something to set your under eyes this is pretty amazing uh, the only thing is that if you're gonna take picture with flashes with a flash or something it kind of gives you that flashback of that white color but if it's just for everyday life this actually sets my concealer and it makes it last a lot longer I also set the rest of my face with this also I can set my eyeshadow primer and make it last even longer so this was a plus I tried different ones I've tried some small samples from the Tarte one and I've tried a couple of other brands that they have this kind of translucent powder but this one is by far my favorite then I also have a product that I wasn't sure if I wanted to include it but I decided that I was going to include it and just share a tip on how to make it work this is the balm meat matte hues and this is what it looks like i know this is a trial size and i don't know if the actual applicator is the same in the full size but what i feel is that it's an amazing color look at the color right there is the one in the bottom it's very pretty but the only thing that i feel is like the applicator apply, applies way too much product on my lips and they start to crack and kind of peel maybe half an hour or an hour later so what i've been doing is getting it on my finger washing my hands and getting it on my finger and then apply it directly a thin layer and that's the only way that i can make it work for me it's a really good formula it smells like chocolate mint ice cream really really good i have a product that when i first got it i was like hmm really it's a temp to highlighter in the color champagne shimmer now this is for those uh what is it called the machines that you use for foundation and stuff like that but when i first tried i was like okay let me give it a try look at that i mean it's very liquidy and with just that amount i can highlight pretty much my entire face it's like a peachy golden undertone and i love to wear this as a highlighter i'm just gonna apply whatever is left on my nose uh it's very pretty it's very blendable it's not heavy at all and this actually made me think that i may need to try one of those systems and see if there's something as amazing as this or at least try some of the products but look at that that's amazingness in just this little bottle <laughs> the last couple of things is first one the cuts face natural skin tone sheer matte finish lightly tinted this is basically an spf that it's amazing for the face i mean that's what i use it for and another thing that i love this for it's as a face primer you put it on you just wait for a couple of minutes and then apply your foundation and it makes it glide perfectly while you're being protected with the spf the so last product is by gorgeous cosmetics amazing 
using concealer. I, I exchanged this for my point. So basically, I didn't get it randomly in a bag. I just exchanged it for points. And this is the best concealer I've tried for dry under eyes. I have my Makeup Forever full cover concealer. And this is amazing full coverage concealer. I also have my MAC Pro Longwear one that I love. And I compare it with this one. And the only difference that I can see is that it, this one does a little bit... Uh, less than the MAC Pro Longwear one and this is always kind of creamy instead of the MAC one being 100% matte. So if you have dry under eyes and you haven't found that specific concealer with the most amazing coverage and that it gives you a little of moisturization under uh, in your under eye then you may want to try this one. I was really impressed and this is one of the concealers that once again whenever I have dry skin under my eyes this is the only thing that my skin can take and it actually makes it feel a lot better if you have dry under eye you know that sometimes you get that discomfort of you know you can feel your skin being tight but with this concealer not only you cover those dark circles but then at the same time you don't feel that dryness even after you apply skincare you know when they're really really dry and you can still feel it this is the solution for me so anyways those are all the makeup products that i loved in 2015 that i got from ipsy this is just some of the best products i've tried i've tried a lot of makeup and i liked a lot of makeup from ipsy but if i had to pick just my favorite ones the one that i need over and over again the one that i lose all the time because i have to have it with me at all times these are just those things and I would absolutely recommend them. So I will leave links to Ipsy and also to these products in the information box down below if you want to check out prices and all that information. It's always listed in the description box down below. So if you're new to my channel, remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new videos Monday through Fridays. I'm going to go because it's Friday and my kids are getting off in three minutes. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.